Hello. 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 Clinical correlations are tools to assist students in associating basic science concepts with a medical application or disease. There are many forms of clinical correlations and many ways to use them in the classroom. We have identified and described five types of clinical correlations that may be embedded within basic science courses. The first type of clinical correlation is a correlated example. Correlated examples consist of superficial clinical information or stories accompanying basic science concepts to make the information more interesting and relevant. This type of clinical correlation is usually presented as a short factoid or story that relates a basic science concept to a disease. It can be used by the instructor to show that the basic science concepts being taught are relevant and interesting and that there is value in learning the information and related details. They are oftentimes embedded within a basic science lecture. The second type of clinical correlation is demonstration and interactive learning. These clinical correlations provide hands-on experiences or the demonstration of a clinical topic. This type of clinical correlation requires more designated time than correlated examples but retains the simplicity of the clinical information that is presented. Students become actively engaged in the correlation activity either by a minimal hands-on approach or by watching a demonstration or review of a clinical procedure. The third type of clinical correlation is a specialized workshop. Specialized workshops have an application-based focus, are more specialized than typical laboratory sessions, and range in complexity from basic to advanced. These clinical correlations consist of a specialized or simulation lab session that may be conducted over an entire morning or afternoon. Students directly participate in activities that are more specialized than routine laboratory sessions and contain an application-based focus. They can also be used for students that are moving into clerkships to help them connect multiple basic science concepts and apply them to the clinical setting. The fourth type of clinical correlation is a small group activity. Small group activities require groups of students guided by faculty to solve simple problems that relate basic science information to clinical topics. Some types of clinical correlations are best conducted with small groups of students participating in discussions concerning a particular topic with clinical relevance. Students work in groups to solve basic or simple problems that relate the basic science information that has been learned to a clinical topic. The student groups are usually supervised by one or more faculty members who may or may not be clinicians. The fifth type of clinical correlation is problem solving. Course-centered problem solving is a more advanced correlation activity than the others and focuses on recognition and treatment of clinical problems to promote clinical reasoning skills. This is a more advanced clinical correlation approach and the activities focus much of the basic science learning around clinical problems. They may also be geared toward recognizing and treating clinical problems. A clinical scenario is presented and the student must learn the basic science concepts associated with the resulting clinical symptoms. These clinical correlations may be used in advanced learning years or as the basis for an entire course. Clinical correlations can be excellent learning tools to support associated basic science concepts. Clinical correlations make learning more interesting and meaningful and demonstrate to students that there is a relevant purpose for spending the time learning what might otherwise seem to be monotonous and irrelevant course content. Use of clinical correlations also gives the instructor leverage in requiring students to learn information when clinical correlations they have used demonstrate that the basic science content serves a purpose. Diverse teaching activities are used in basic science medical education, and those that include clinical relevance promote interest, communication and collaboration, enhance knowledge retention, and help develop clinical reasoning skills.